Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zaid here with another episode of Zaid's Experience. Today, we are going to be talking about why your 24-hour fast might not be working for you. So stick around, and we'll dab into this world and how messy it can get. <laughs> there we go. So thanks for joining me guys on another episode of Sage Experience. So today we're gonna to be talking about why your 24 hour fast might not be working for you. And this has all to do with a case to case basis. Why does the 24 hour mark not work as well for me as it might work for other people? I know my brother, um, he weighs, he used to weigh 250 pounds not too long ago, about two months ago. And within that time frame, he's been cutting down quite a bit of fat and he's only been doing 24 hours or even 20, 20 hours uh, fasting. And he's only been doing a one meal a day and he's been doing super, super good. But for me, I have not been cutting out fat at all. If anything, I start to retain a lot of the fat. And even though that might be an advantage to some people, at the moment, my goal is to lose a little bit more weight. And so what I started to do was to self-test a little bit with all this. So I started using ketone strips. That was the only way I was um, gonna be able to really see when my body went into ketosis, which in turn meant that I was burning fat. So what I noticed with all this was that for me to actually go into ketosis, it actually takes anywhere from 30 to 35 hours. And within that time frame, that's when I actually start to get into ketosis. So that explains why 24 hours doesn't work for me. Now, if you are anything like me, you've probably experienced that if you've done any 24 hour fast, you probably don't lose weight at all other than water weight for a little while. And then after that, you just kind of like hit a plateau but if you do 48 hour fasts like i do then you'll really start noticing like a three pound difference which is insane for just an extra 24 hours so that's why that difference happens and so i started testing this out with a couple of ketone strips i just got some from amazon I mean, at this point, there's uh, the whole ketogenic diet thing has exploded so much that all these brands have been like just kind of going for it and like they've been coming up with their own ketone strips because they know people are going to buy them to check if they're in ketosis or not. So there's a bunch of good brands. I'll leave the brand that I use down there. You can also see it from here from the video. I'll go ahead and put a couple of clips of it, but it's very simple to use a ketone strip. What you do is basically at any point when you think you're in ketosis, I would recommend anywhere from 24 to 30 hours because that's that's why I found works for me but um, I'm pretty sure that doesn't work for my other brother who is super super lean he probably goes into ketosis every two minutes or something like that he's insane he he's like he's super skinny he's a little bit shredded but he's pretty muscular so he has a complete opposite set of genes than me and my older brother have we have a kind of we're shorter but we make a lot of muscle mass and but we also retain a lot of fat and my younger brother he's a complete opposite he is a little bit taller but he's ripped and he even he doesn't make as much muscle as we do but he makes a decent amount of muscle if i was to test him out my youngest brother he i'd probably test him out like every i would tell him to test himself out like about every 16 hours to see at what point does he like actually go into ketosis. I started getting into ketosis at around 30 hours and I got into like some moderate um, ketosis. So it was pretty decent. After like the 30 hour mark, it actually goes pretty well. Anything before the 24 hour mark, it doesn't even register on the ketone strip. It's just like, it's just, you just urinated on a strip. That's it. And anything after the 48 hour mark, it goes into extreme ketosis for me. So that's the period when I actually experience all the ketone burning benefits, if you will. That's when I get a little bit more energy, when I just completely forget about food. And you guys have heard me talk about this, that anywhere between like the 24 to 48 hour fast, that's when you start forgetting about food. That's probably one of the reasons why your body's using this fat. And so it has quite a bit to burn off. In my case, I have quite a bit to burn off. So it doesn't mind 
using that as energy and so you get this slow release of trickling energy which is what how fat gets used as opposed to um say you're using carbs from a potato or something that you just ate those are going to be really those are going to be used quite quickly so in my recommendation what i would consider if you're somebody that those 24 hours aren't quite working for you try to prolong it for 48 hours and um, a way to really find out if this is working for you or not buy a set of ketone strips they're super cheap there i think they're like um ten dollars they're not bad at all i mean for just to check to see when you guys are actually burning fat that way you guys are not kind of like i wouldn't say wasting your time because you're still putting your body under a certain amount of stress and that's not a bad thing stress is not always a bad thing excessive stress is a bad thing stress is actually good for us it helps us grow in many ways that's what we do to muscles we put stress on it and we put a certain amount if we put too much we're going to tear the muscle so hence there's a balance here so doing some kind of fasting is always good i think it's always good but again we have to dial it back we can't always do it all the time same with this if we can go ahead and check with a ketone strip and we can see where we actually start going into ketosis i think that would greatly benefit us i know it has benefit me it has really helped me out it's made me see that i need minimum 48 hours if i want to lose weight and it also makes sense because if if i ever do want to put some muscle mass and kind of keep a little bit lean it also makes sense to do the 24 hours and i think that's a pretty good balance and it makes a lot of sense for me because that way i'm not losing the opportunity to maybe make a little bit of extra muscle while at the same time i'm getting the appropriate amounts of nutrients in and i'm not gonna get myself to this level where um if i'm eating every 48 hours and i'm training super heavily every day it will get to a point where let's say every time i eat i go all the way up here and i fill my reservoirs with nutrients with all the essentials that i need everything that you need you know but then when i train i bring it back down here and then next time around I train again but because i was fasting i really didn't replenish it so it kind of stays down here again and then when i eat yeah sure i bring it here but it's not here where it was at the beginning so after a period of time that'll start to become my new low my new no like it you guys get it it it, it will deter you through a long period of time as opposed to if you were probably training um, and eating every day and you keep on bringing it back here it won't deter you as much but it still will deter you over time so make sure you take into consideration all these things whether you're training or not um, whether your goal is to lose fat or not whatever your goal may be again if you're having this problem that you're just not burning off fat even though you're doing 24 hour fasts which is uh, a little bit intense for most people I recommend doing 48s and I'm pretty sure you're going to start seeing the weight come off and if that's not working I highly highly recommend for you to buy the ketone strips and even then I will, even if you're doing 24s I would recommend that you buy the ketone strips that way you you are way more accurate and you know precisely when you start burning fat that's what I would do that that's kind of what I did <laughs> but in any case guys thanks for joining me in another episode of Say's Experience please go ahead comment like and subscribe you guys know the deal push that notification bell if you guys haven't already done so and please push that subscribe button it's really helping out and i'm very sorry for being absent all these past days but if you're watching this video by now i just left to tokyo so i'm gonna be in japan for the next two weeks and i'm gonna be doing a little experiment so hopefully you guys won't flip when you find out what i'm doing it but there's an end goal with all this i can assure you guys but in any case you'll hear from me pretty soon after this video zay out peace